Hey everyone, I'm Sniper Cage and welcome to the third Grandmaster Nightfall Guide of Season of the Seraph. This week's Nightfall is Birthplace of the Vile, which while it is pretty easy, it does have some areas that might trip up some teams. Regardless, I'm going to give you all the tips and tricks you need to know in order to beat this Nightfall easily. As always, timestamps are in the description below, so let's dive into the video. Let's talk loadouts first. Birthplace requires your team to cover Overload and Unstoppable Champions while also dealing with Arc, Solar, and Void Shields. Therefore, we are going to build into that. This is one of two loadouts that your team can use for this GM. The first loadout is have your team run two Wither Hordes and one Blinding Grenade for unstops and for crowd control. For your secondary, run one Scout Rifle of the three different elements. This will help you deal with all shields in this GM and will give you a source for Overload. For heavies, run three Void Linears to take advantage of the Void Burn. The second loadout is the same, but instead of running Linears, use Rockets, and have the Blinding Grenade player run Gallahorn. For Void Rockets, I'd recommend Royal Entry or Red Herring. Another solid loadout you can use is, is Anagi's Burden with Divinity, but just use whatever your team prefers. For subclasses, you'll want Crowd Control and Defensive Supers. For Titans, I suggest Void or Arc Sub classes. For Hunter, I suggest Stasis or Void subclasses, and for Warlock, I suggest Stasis or Solar subclasses. For mods, you'll want to run a bunch of Void resistances as there are a lot of sources of Void damage and you will get ripped apart without it. Otherwise, run your typical mods alongside Lucent Finisher for heavy ammo. Now that we've covered loadouts, let's get to it. When you and your team spawn in, you may have a public event flag spawn, so grab it for free ammo and supers. Otherwise, you'll have some ads here, so either kill them or drive by them and then move to the new load zone. Once you arrive at the new load zone, you'll be met by some ads including an overload champion. Quickly melt the ads and then move on to the next wave of ads which will consist another overload champ. Melt this group of ads and then move forward. Once you're beyond the cliff, you'll run into another group of ads consisting of a mini boss, an unstoppable champ, and more ads. Melt the champ first, getting a finisher if necessary, kill the ads, then the mini boss, and then move on. The next room is a plate room, and this part can trip up some teams, but we're going to make it easy. You'll want to have one player run forward to the plate, while the other two stay back, preferably behind this structure. The two players who are off the plate will be trying to spawn trap adds while the player on the plate does it by themselves. If the player on the plate gets too low on health, then they should feel free to step off the plate in order to not die. As long as your team manages adds here, your team should be okay. Once the plate is completed, the barrier ahead will disappear, allowing your team to move forward. On the other side of the barrier, will be a group of scorn enemies. Take them out carefully as they like to spam void grenades that will melt you, and once they're dead, push into the room and deal with the scorn enemies on the cliffway. Once you've cleared out the scorn adds on the cliff, head to the other side of the room where you'll have more scorn enemies including an unstop champion and an overload champion. Clear out some of the smaller adds and then take down the two champions, getting finishers where necessary. Once all adds are dead, then move on. After you exit the long hallway and make it outside, have one player pre-wither hoard the doorway. This will kill or injure most adds that run through the doorway. From there, slowly clear out the adds by the doorway, then enter the room. While you're clearing out adds, be careful of any scorn enemies throwing void grenades as this will once again wipe your team very fast. Once you're inside the room, clear out the adds which will consist of some smaller adds, a chieftain, and an overload champ. Take out the adds that are on the left side of the room, finish the champ, then use the high ground to clear out the rest of the adds below. Once all ads are dead, scan the item then go through the portal. Once through the portal, you'll have a bunch of ads that will spawn in in front of you, including a few waves of screams that will spawn in the divot in front of you. Kill the screams, then move forward to the snipers by the middle gap. Once the snipers on the spawn side are dead, have one player begin jumping the gap to spawn the next set of ads. Take out the snipers, then move forward to bait the screams. Once all ads are dead, kill the overload champion, get a finisher if necessary, then move on. Once you've left that previous room, the next room you'll enter will be the plate room. Upon entering the room, you'll have two spawns of scorn adds, which will also feature two unstoppable champs. Have your team stun the unstops while you clear out the rest of the adds, and once all adds are dead, kill the two champs while getting finishers if necessary. Once all adds are dead, move to the right plate to take care of it first, since I'd say this is the hardest of the two plates. As you're on the plate, you'll have adds spawning from the bottom of the stairs to your right and in front of you, so feel free to step off if need be. At about half plate progression, you'll get a achieved in, so kill it and continue progressing the plate. Once the plate is done, move on to the final plate which will have a similar process. Kill adds, kill the chieftain, and once the plate is done, follow the path up to the new room. In this room, you'll have some adds and a champion, so kill them and get a finish on the champion if need be. Then go through the portal. Once you're through the portal, kill the adds on one of the two sides, and take that side to the other side of the room. Once you've reached the other side of the room, kill the overload and go through the portal to move on. 
Once you've made it through the portal, you'll have some more adds to kill, including two overload champions, so kill all the adds and move forward. Once you get outside, you'll run into a huge group of adds consisting of two mini bosses, some small adds, and two unstoppable champs. Kill the smaller adds, kill the mini bosses, then kill the champions and get finishers if need be. Once all adds are dead, move on. The next room you hit will be the boss room. The fight starts once your team scans the object in the room, so scan it once you're ready. You'll get some scorn spawning in, but not before the boss spawns in. When the adds spawn in, kill them quickly and begin damaging the boss. Adds in this boss room will continuously spawn until you've damage gated the boss, so once all adds are dead, focus the boss until either you damage gate him or until a new wave of adds have spawned in. Once the boss is damage gated, he'll teleport your team into the first room you teleported into earlier in the strike. As you did then, bait the screams, kill them, kill the snipers, then do the same to the other side. From there, kill the overload, then jump through the portal. Once you're back in the room, you'll get more score and spawns, plus an unstoppable champion. Simply kill the adds, then the champion while getting a finisher if necessary, then focus the boss until the boss is damage gated, where he will then teleport you into the second room you teleported into earlier in the strike. As you did in the second room, kill the adds on one side, then use that side to get to the opposite side of the room, then kill the overload champion to get to the portal. It's worth noting that if your team needs the ammo or wants to wait for supers, you can sit in this room until you get those things, just be mindful of the timer. Once you're through the portal, kill the new wave of adds including the overload champion. Once all adds are dead, melt the boss for an easy birthplace of the vile grandmaster completion. That'll wrap up the third season of the Seraph GM Guide. If you found the video useful, consider dropping a like and subscribing for more Destiny 2 content dropping every week. If you need help with GMs this week or any GM this season, then you can stop by my streams that have been right here on YouTube as I do GM helps all throughout the week. Finally, follow me on all social media pages linked in the description below. With that being said, I'm Sniper Cage, and I'm out. Good luck with gaming.